This past weekend, we had the opportunity to have Uncle Estria and Uncle Mike come down and help us with this mural and help us create this. And it was, you guys are going to be astonished or amazed. So.
You know, these are your folks' stories, and we're just here to help you tell your stories. So hopefully, you guys understand and know what your mo'olelo are, so that you can, in turn, turn around and share it with other people. Like people come visit, or your family, or whatnot, you can share with them. Yeah. Thank you for having us yet again. Good luck. We're gonna do a um, quick summary of everything that's on the mural, <coughs> starting with Kinohi. So, Constell constellation of Kalupe o Cavello, and it was said that we came from the stars, so that's why it's there. And then it goes off into the island and people holding hands. And this island chain is called Kanehua Moku, and it's a floating in the sky, and there's people. It, kind of resembles people and it's because you have a strong bond and if we break down every aspect of this mural it somehow in some way shape or form it goes to travel traveling and that's kind of our um mo'olelo for the whole year right traveling the length and the breadth so that's what this part of the mural is about so from that section we come into the rising of the sun and then we have this one there right here um, she is not Pele, <laughs> but she is our <laughs> Mrs. Anahola. Oh my, I forgot the name <laughs> for her. But this is the representation of Kalalea's wife, which is right next to her if you look at the mountain. Um, but she is here for to give us inspiration and focus to Malama or Aina, to Malama our home. And with her vibrant colors, she's here to just inspire and motivate us. So if you need motivation, inspiration, come here and watch. Just sit with the mural, sit with her. And um, that was our focus for this part with the rising of the sun, starting on a new day. Um, just uh, representation that our generation is shining bright, and we will continue to shine. Yeah. And we go now into the Ba'a of Namuhoi, and then the, we have a Honu and a Noyo bird down there. Okay. So Anuya asked me to comment on the Honu. I wasn't here on Saturday when all of this was born, but when I came yesterday, Atipo was talking about the honu and she's like, I'm not sure where it fits in or she's like, I, I just can't see it. And I said, well, to me as someone who just comes and sees this whole, the whole voyage that, you know, after you and you get to the end and it's that, that ea, yeah, when the, when you come up for that breath of fresh air, like the honu does. 
So after you've traveled your, your length and your breadth, you get that, that final <coughs> like breadth of, and breathing with accomplishment. And then as Ipo said, well yeah, and then Ea, we also associate that with um, education with Aloha. So it was kind of tying it back into what we do here. So that was uh, so for our theme and title of our mural, it's a kaika, a kaika loa me kalaula, which means travel the length and the breadth. And that's our theme for this school year as well, and our hoike. So we thought that fits perfectly with our mural as well. We chose a line from Wau Hawaii by Larry Tamura. And Bokaukia e Pungalo nei Kauwe. And the meaning behind that one was that we are turning and we are focusing on that growth, on, on that new day. So, Uncle Estio would like to say some, some about the Honu. Uh, yeah, the Honu is, um, it's my family's all close, so um, whenever you see the Honu, you know that you're in safe water. The Honu is very up to its environment, so when you see the Honu, it's like safe water. And I think it's real fitting that it's in front of Namaha. Going ahead safely, yeah. Um, just like for you folks, you guys are safe here. This is a good place for you to learn and begin your journey in your life. The, the Kane Moko is the secret hidden floating islands of Kane. And um, I think it's real interesting that I kept showing up here because there's old stories of these islands floating by and even how people could see them from this, this part of your island right here. So um, it's sort of like a sacred place. I guess you could say only Kane's families will go over there or something, but now you get you both get to see Kane Hunomoko all the time. So you guys are special. So those are called the Mo'omoa. Everybody say Mo'omoa. Mo'omoa. And on journeys, that's where um we are believed that that's where our kupuna sit. And that's where they um so it's holy space for our kupuna and our ba'a. So even though you may not see them, even though you may not have an actual form, there's always a space for them. And even on our six-man outrigger canoes, if you see this at the edge, then you know that is a canoe based off of the Hawaii design. <coughs> Oh, no.